All praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This video will be entitled Unbelief, Spiritual Attacks, and Mockery. Unbelief, Spiritual Attacks, and Mockery. And I got a, a series of comments here from the comment board I want to kind of go through. And these will range from unbelief to a downright spiritual attack to mockery. Now, from the first uh, first comment, it's in uh, from a video entitled "YouTube is suppressing hashtag Hebrew Israelites." Right? And you have this guy Reggie three thousand. So, this is the comment, but I want to go over here and uh, go to the actual video. All right, so from the video, YouTube is suppressing hashtag Hebrew Israelites. All right, there's a bunch of comments to this video. And basically, it was going over uh, how YouTube is suppressing when you put Hebrew Israelites in hashtags. And this guy, Reggie3000, right? Right here with the sunglasses on and his avatar. So let's go and look at what he says now. He says, why don't you pray that it stops? Now, you may not think that's a big deal, but when it, when you go to this individual's uh, channel, this is what you see. Reggie 3000, a bug out, dark shades on. And when you go to his video, you see right here, Haitian atheist blog promo. So this individual is an unbeliever. Okay. Right here, my journey to atheism. Haitian atheist. And then here he has Zipporah saves Moses. Right? Um, so this dude, he basically is an unbeliever. Okay? He's an unbeliever of every religion. <laughs> My before pre rule from Hebrews and Negroes. Right? You just see different different things on his channel. But he, which, the guy's a bug out. He's a bug out. He's a Haitian, a Haitian atheist. So you got a lot of these types of individuals on the comment board. They come on there. They interested in the videos, you know, but they're more interested in coming and leaving their little punk ass comments. You know, they think it's, it's funny. They scoff and they mock and unbelief yet deep down. They really actually do believe, but they, they, you know, they don't know how to express it. <laughs> That's on you, Reggie 3000. The most high gonna fuck you up. He's gonna destroy you, man. And you know, it's really not your fault that you're an unbeliever. That's that's what the Heavenly Father chose for you to be. A bitch ass, unbelieving. Let's say demon. if I wanna That's what the Lord chose for you to be. So let's go back. So I just wanted you to know who he was. Right? Now, I actually did reply to the dude's coming out, ain't showing. Well, anyway, he says, why don't you pray that it stops? He's he's replying to uh, the title of the video. YouTube, YouTube is suppressing Hebrew Israelites. So really, when he says, why don't you pray that it stops? This is a notion for him. He's saying that in unbelief. Why don't you just pray? If the most high is real, he'll just make it stop. Your stupid ass. Now, what I responded to this guy with, I responded to him that he says, why don't you pray that it stops? I said, because the most high. Uh, is in charge of evil as well as good right and i brought up uh let me just close that i actually brought up psalm 17 and 13 and let's read it because the heavenly father set up these damn devils okay and it just bear with me here momentarily all right so we're gonna read psalm 17 13 let's read that now psalm 17 verse 13 why don't you pray to this stop? We don't we don't need YouTube to accommodate us. They're gonna be the devil. They're gonna do what they have to do. This is Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, right? The wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And he is the sword of the Lord. From men. Which are thy hand, O Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, 
They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. You see, and a guy like Reggie 3000, he doesn't understand that the Heavenly Father is in control of good as well as evil. So he's going to use this devil, Esau, Edom, and YouTube. He's going to use them to bring about the famine of the word. This dude's so busy trying to scoff and try to mock and make it seem as though the Most High don't exist and that he's powerless. No, the Most High got these devils doing what they're doing. And it's a delicate balance of good and evil. And the Most High controls them both. So we ain't going to pray to the Lord to make YouTube stop suppressing our hashtags to stop deleting our videos and this and that they're supposed to do that they're supposed to resist the truth that's what they're supposed to do let's get another scripture here this is isaiah 45 verse 7 i form the light and create darkness i make peace and create evil i the lord do all these things so the most high is the one that's in authority he's in authority over the edomites like i said in the past video why fear the devil if your God controls the devil? Really, I just wanted to point out that YouTube was suppressing the truth. That's a and one brother said on the comment board that boosted his faith. You know why? Because they re, he realizes through seeing that YouTube is doing shit behind the scenes to try to keep us, you know, try to keep the truth from blowing up, becoming viral, and everybody knowing about it. That shows that they're concerned about it. That increases people's faith. We're not supposed to be the world and not it's not supposed to be on our side. All right. And we got to be in the world. The Lord ain't going to take us out of the world. Let's read this. This one now is John 17, 15. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. You can't the most high. He ain't going to keep us from, uh, take us out of the world. He's just going to protect us from the evil. We're doing our job. We're supposed to preach the gospel. That's all we need to do is preach the gospel. There's going to be, you know, those that set up to resist us. Scoffers going to resist us. People are going to come on the comment board. They're going to say things. But see, the simple, basic uh, tenets of the scriptures where the most high controls good as well as evil, although to us it's a simple thing, it's a very deep thing. And your average atheist, bitch ass scoffer, mouth breather, foolish mortal, puny human can't understand that. And this dude really thought he said something profound. Why don't you pray that it stops? Why? Why instead of praying that it stops, how about praying for the wherewithal to endure it? We're going to beat these devils. They ain't going to beat us. The most high raised up adversaries. That's what he does. The Lord does that, man. You didn't know that? Let's see here if I can bring that up. Raised up an adversary. An adversary, that's that's the definition of the word Satan, adversary. Just bear with me here. <clears throat> Just bear with me. Um, see, the most high does that. He provokes. It's like he provokes Satan to number to, to have David number Israel. Right? Um Just bear with me here. Um, yeah, look at this. First Kings eleven fourteen, and the Lord stirred up an adversary unto Solomon, Hadad the Edomite. He was the king's seed in Edom. You see that? Why did the Most High do that? <laughs> For His own purpose. The Lord is the one that raised up these scoffers and these different demons to come against us, and we okay with that. And the Lord stirred up an adversary under Solomon, Hadad or Hadad the Edomite. He was of the king's seed in Edom. You see, was the most high wit King Solomon? Sure he was. You might get mad. Oh, what the Lord do that? Adversary, the Lord, the Lord. That's how the most high operate. He's the master chess player. You see, when the most high has enemies, he puts them in a position where they can get judgment. Check this out. Doggone, I spelled it wrong. But see, you try to get the average mouth breathing so called black man <laughs> to understand things. 
as deep as the mind of the Lord. You ain't going to be able to get them to understand that. They're too low level. This is Judges 14 and 4. But his father and his mother knew not. Let me actually let me go to the actual scripture. This is dealing with Samson. Judges 14 and 1. And Samson went down to Timnath and saw a woman in the Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. So this is dealing with Samson. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren or among all my people that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistines? His, his, his parents were like, Why don't you marry an Israelite girl? You want one of these Hamites? One of these Hamites? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleased me well. Here's the point. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time, the Philistines had dominion over Israel. So that whole thing was because the Lord set it up that way so that he could punish and, and put judgment on the Philistines. You people don't really get it. Who you playing with? The Lord is a mighty king over all flesh, over all the earth. And that's the reason why he got us over here in captivity so he could fuck up Esau, Edom. Punish us, yet at the same time, you're going to fuck up Esau, Edom. NLT says his mother and father didn't realize the Lord was at work in this, creating an opportunity to work against the Philistines who ruled over Israel at that time. You see that? That's fire. The Most High was looking for an opportunity to fuck up them damn Hamites. That's why he had he put the spirit on Samson, right, to seek after that, that, uh, that uh, Hamite girl. You see? Just like it with us. And you never know what the Lord is doing. He is the master chess player. You never know what he's doing. That's why you're supposed to fear the Lord. Because you don't know if something that he's doing is for your good or for your damn destruction. And this dude, the reason why the Lord sent you scoffers on our comment boards is so we can edify. And that's what we do. We just take you little, you know, your little minuscule brains that's mush. You ain't nothing more than a little piece of a, a buffalo chip. You're a piece of manure. So what we do, we take you and we grind up you manure as Israelite chips and we put you in the soil to help the Israelites to elect grow. That's what we do. That's what we do through edification. We take you bitter lemons and we grind you up and we make edification lemonade out of your ass. See? So what have you been? You, what, what, what happened to you? You have been uh, edificized. <laughs> we grind your ass up and put you in so we can edify the flock. We feed the sheep off of your stupid comments. Why don't you pray that it stops? Well, we didn't need to pray that it stops. The Lord got control over these devils, man. He does what he want to do. Most eyes in control over all flesh. Let's get real quick. And before we move on, and we'll, you know, just want to touch on that briefly. Because, Jake, when you, you think that when you come on the comment board and you say shit and you do, you know, say a little mockery, we see you from a mile away. You're nothing to us. You... Look, man, we block you and take your comment and edify with it. You do realize you're losing, right? Ecclesiastes 11, 14, prosperity and adversity. See that? The Lord will bring, he'll give you prosperity, but he'll bring adversity on your ass. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. You see, all these things come of the Lord, man. The Lord is the one behind all this. You ain't on no level. You tripping. I got one more here. Um, let's see. What's this dude's name? Shemai. Requite. Be evil. Even when scoffers came up against King David, the Most High knew, or David knew that the Most High was the one behind it. This is in the, the situation. As soon as I can get to come up, this is a situation dealing with Shemaiah the Benjamite. This is 2 Samuel 16 and verse 5. It says, David is cursed. And when King David came to Bahurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul whose name was Shemai, the son of Gerah. 
he came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of King David and all the people of, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shemai when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man and thou man of Belial. The Lord have returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord have delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. <clears throat> then Abishai the son of Zariah, uh, then said Abishai the son of Zariah unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. So this man came and cursed out King David a Benjamite. And then one of the men of David said, look, let me go cut this nigga head off. But what did King David say? And the king said, what have I to do with you, ye sons of Zariah? So let him curse, because the Lord has said unto him, curse David. Who shall then say, wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction and the, that the Lord will requite me good for his cursing this day. King David said, let that nigga cuss me out. The most high was the one that sent him to cuss me out. Maybe the Lord will turn around and give me something good in place of this nigga cursing me. Let's read that in the NLT. 2 Samuel 16 and 5 from the NLT. As King David came to Bahurim, a Bahurim, a man came out of the village cursing them. It was Shammai son of Gerar from the same clan as Saul's family. He threw stones at the king and the king's officers and all the mighty warriors who surrounded him. Get out of here, you murderer, you scoundrel, he shouted at David. The Lord is paying you back for all the bloodshed in Saul's clan. You stole his throne, and now the Lord has given it to your son Absalom. At last you will taste some of your own medicine, for you are a murderer. Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Abishai, son of Zariah, demanded. Let me go over and cut off his head. No, the king said. Who asked your opinion, you sons of Zariah? If the Lord has told him to curse me, who are you to stop him? Then David said to Abishai and to all his servants, my own son is trying to kill me. Doesn't this relative of Saul have even more reason to do so? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to do it. And perhaps the Lord will see that I am being wronged and will bless me because of these curses today. You see that? So King David was writing his reply. He said, this, these damn scoffers, the Lord is the one sending them. Let them curse. Let this dumb nigga come on the comment board and say what he's saying. Right? And I see what Apostle Harvey's saying. He said, hey, we, we play with these scoffers, right? Now, sometimes they scoffing can get to be annoying as hell when a live stream is going on. But on the comment board, they'll make their one comment, their two comments, as you'll see. And I'll block the shit out of them. But before I block them, I'll take their comments and I'll share their comments with the brotherhood. And if brothers want to make lessons on them, they can make lessons on them. But as for this guy, he threw and see, it's a unique position to be in when you're a scoffer, when you, particularly when you're an atheist. Because atheists really are intrigued by, you know, the whole thing dealing with the Lord and, you know, the spiritual world and whatnot. But they just can't believe. They're short, they're short of, you know, of that believing mechanism that the Lord put inside of us. They don't have it. They're intrigued, but they can't believe. And then some of them, they may wind up being believers. But this dude, Reggie 3000, he ain't got it. He hurt and he threw. You see? So that was good for edification. Now let's go on. Because there are other scoffers that come on the comment board. Right? And I had uh, up close and personal. So that was the unbelief over there with Reggie 3000. Now this guy, we got different scoffers that are assigned to different brothers. Some of them come on all brothers' channels. But then there's certain ones. That just come on my channel or they maybe come on a couple of brothers channels. This one particular, he used the name of the Heavenly Father. Right. And he making comments as if he's with us, but he's actually not. He's trying to get us. You know, it's a spiritual attack. It's a spiritual attack because this guy comes on the comment board and make these outlandish comments. And you've seen it. 
with several different scholars, which really it may be the YouTube AI. I don't know. But look at the comment this individual made. He put the name Yahweh on himself. And he says, if you're a member of the Alpha Beta community, unalive yourself, motherfucker. See? So this is sort of how brothers might speak and this and that. But at the same time, he's going overboard. And he's using the name of the Heavenly Father to try to get us accused. And this dude, I blocked him. And he came back, same name, with a different avatar. I don't know how the hell he did that. He says, hey, you think I give two fucks about the... You, you see what he said right there. Right? Also trying to accuse us. And this person may be an agent or, fe you know, whatever. From what, what, whichever one of the perspective alphabet groups, I don't know. But, of course, I blocked them there, too. Now, we had several scoffers. We got certain ones that be on my channel all the time. And this dude could just be one of them. Or it could just be a spiritual attack. It doesn't matter. Just wanted, you know, you to take note of that. Now, at, after that, later on in the evening, another scoffer came on the comment board. And this person using avatars that, they, that you would get from GMS Nick Sin 611. He says, Shalom, I'm suffering from the Jezebel. Can you please do a video on that? I really need help. Now, at the end of the day, this person may just be a damn severe bug out. But at, either way, it's a demon. So he says he's suffering from, from the Jezebel. Can you do a video on that? I really need help. And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is this guy talking about? So I asked, I answered back. I said, be more specific. Then he says here, no weird stuff. I'm Jonah the prophet. The eclipse is for me. My birthday is April 17th. So when I was nine, I had sex with my twin sister. And when I was 16, I had sex with my cousin. And I was also gay because I was touched on as a kid. At one point, I can't get over it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. I feel a big weight holding down my chest. I also have a nicotine, weed, and porn addiction. I'm trying to battle, but I need help. And I can trust you, Shalawam. You see? And then he says in another comment, it was my older brother that touched on me. So, you got here right you have uh uh scoffing or uh, i'm sorry you had unbelief with reggie 3000 then you had the spiritual attack with that other character using the name of the most high and now you got this guy right here with his mockery because this is just mockery you know it's just mockery and it's also a spiritual attack because it might be that same individual under a different name so brothers out to be mindful you gonna have these weirdos come on the comment board don't engage him no need to go back and forth this dude is blocked all right but he's just another one a long list of damn scoffers and the lord told us that it would be like this this is second peter three so like yeah. second peter three and one this second epistle beloved i now write unto you and both which i stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So you're going to have people, you know, walking after their own lusts, trying to get us to engage with them, trying to get us blamed and accused, making up shit. You see? So you're going to have people that do that. But but whatever. Let's go to Jude. It doesn't matter. So it's the last days. And we know as we just read the other scriptures. The most high is the one sending these scoffers. And what do we do? We're going to take their comments. And we're going to make. You know the ones that we can use for edification. And we're going to edify. That's all. That's all we're going to do. Is just edify. And I, I forget the scripture that I wanted. Um, Oh yeah I got it. <clears throat> Just bear with me here. Um, so this right here is going to be Jude 1 <clears throat> and verse 17. It says, But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. How that they told you there should be mockers 
in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. You see that? So there are mockers, scoffers, unbelievers. They're going to do that. Let's look at the NLT. But you, my dear friends, must remember what the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, said. They told you that in the last times there will be scoffers who, whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. These people are the ones who are creating divisions among you. They follow their natural instincts because they do not have the most high spirit in them. And that's fire. And that's a good place to stop. These different people that come on the common board, they ain't got the most high spirit in them. Reggie 3000, this guy Nixon, this other guy, you know, making up this name, you know, that he used and saying the shit that he said. They, hey, they don't have a natural inclination from the Lord to even believe in the truth. And there's no need to get upset. Right. Because the Lord had bidden them and said, go curse GMS. That's what it is. So just, just a quick video. You know, maybe it wasn't too quick. I don't know, but just a video for edification right there. You can't take these people serious. Well, I mean, we take it serious to the point we'll edify off of it. But it ain't, we ain't losing no sleep. Reggie 3000 is through. The mother people, they through, man. That's it. This has been, uh, how did I title it? Unbelief, spiritual attacks, and mockery. We'll see you again soon, Lord willing. All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.